Coral reefs are the backbone of our oceans. Since the 70s, the Florida Reef Tract has lost nearly 97% of its staghorn and elkhorn coral. Corals are actually animals. They help to protect from storm surge and energy from waves with storms and hurricanes that come through. So they provide us, as, as humans that live along the coastlines, um, a nice added line of defense and protection. There is obviously a big shift with climate change that's happening. One of the main things that's affecting coral reefs is the ocean temperature. And with that being adjusted slightly um, and warming, they're having to adjust as well too. And it's rising at a faster rate than they can actually adjust or adapt to. Enter the Coral Restoration Foundation. They maintain offshore nurseries in Key Largo, Florida that grow coral and then outplant them back into their natural habitat. This restoration process is a big undertaking. They've enlisted some help from aquariums and zoos around the country. Once a year, these staghorn corals spawn naturally. Um, and what we're doing is just lending a helping hand with that process. So we'll go down there and collect some of this coral spawn help the fertilization and the grow out process along and actually bring those baby corals back right here to Atlanta, Georgia, where we can rear them in a protective environment. Growing coral in a laboratory isn't an easy feat, but the Georgia Aquarium has had some luck. Baby Groot was the first coral that we were able to successfully produce through this process. It's almost like a matchmaking process and corals are so delicate and are so endangered at this point that they're too far away from each other to naturally reproduce. By doing these restoration um, techniques and, and working with coral spawn, we're hoping that we can restore these areas that are now dead and create these natural breakwaters that will protect those shore habitats. The process of coral spawning has a lot of potential to be useful in a uh, restoration program. And that's because we can take this little spawn and create thousands of baby corals from that process. These are genetically uh, diverse that, and some of this genetic diversity can lead to adaptations uh, that allow a coral to survive in a more acidic ocean or a warmer ocean. Um, so we're hopeful that this will be, lead to a lot of uh, new corals that can be put out on the coral reef.